Hey guys, I want to take you a tour on my new uh, setup I have here. Been working on it here and stuff like that. This here, this area here going to be my uh, shipping area here. And right now it's kind of a mess here because uh, I don't have all the boxes I need really. I mean, I just got what I've been working with right now. Like some of these boxes I really don't need. I've been getting me, I need to get order some uh, envelopes from the post office, though. Padded ones. And from the post office, you don't really have much. Just maybe the padded envelopes and these boxes right here. And, uh, and the shoe boxes, mostly I ever use. The only one's really handy now. Okay, and then in the next area be my little workstation here. Be my little workstation. Right here. This is where I need, uh, where I start, you know, if I get an order, I, I pack it up in this station right here. Have me a light here and a little mischief uh, workstation here. And down here, I have bins here as the items I need to be listed. Right here, I had the label items to need to be listed right here in these totes here. Anything in these totes here not been listed, when uh, when they get listed, I will uh, uh, log them in and bend them in these number here. My inventory system here is basically kind of simple. I have a blue bin and a black bin. I have blue one, blue bin one, you know, and bin blue two, and bin three, three and bin, you know, sold on. You know, come down here like this. You know, and then I start on this wall. I, I want to name, uh, I want to name this section. Basically, I want to put section one, one through six s section. And the next section, seven through seventeen, then so on. You know, th section three. What gets about this uh, bending system here is when I put the custom label on each item here. When I bend them, I can uh, search it by the bin on the you know on the desktop version. I I could never figure out how to do it on the phone version to uh, separate it, but I can uh, search the item in the bins in you know in the field of custom label. I put the bin number in, and I can tell whatever in the like I want to search what in bin one. I can actually put bin one in blue bin one, and it tell me everything in this tote here. I can keep up with the inventory that way, and. I delist all my items to get it all moved in here. And when I, <coughs> excuse me, when I double check my items uh, before I list them, I'm going to pull up each bin and verify everything in that bin before I list it. Then I'm going to put it up, you know, for sale, you know, as listed. But I'm going to double check, make sure I have it all been right. It been took took me a couple of days. I only had like 250 items, but I mean, that, I just took my time and stuff like that and got them all bent. I don't know. It's, it's just hard to go through everything when you have things up in corners and everything. But I, I'm happy with this uh, setup right here right now. Uh, this here area is my uh, picture taking area here. I had uh, three uh, soft boxes. I kind of probably need kind of redo this a little bit. This fabric that came with it. Uh, I think I need to get some foam board or something, make it a little bit harder. There, anyway, it's still a little work in progress, but it's actually really a work inside now. It's ready to uh, to uh, do work in. I'm trying to keep it all business out here, basically. Uh, you know, it, this only this only area I really need to work on here. It, I need to get some new boxes and stuff like that. I have so many empty boxes I store my other stuff in when I brought it out here. 
back in that corner there, hidden, but I need to get rid of that and have like some kind of burn day or something like that, get rid of a lot of old empty boxes. But I have space between each bin here. Uh, maybe if they, if they can't go in the bin, I can stack them up in the, you know, in the, on the thing. I mean, I, truthfully, I know some things ain't going to go in the bin if I get them, but 99% of the stuff I buy and, uh, and stuff I pick out, mostly can go in the bin. The bin size is, uh, um, 20, let's see, 21 long. 17 inches deep and 15 inches wide and uh yeah yeah i mean i spent some money on this but it's kind of like myself saying it's i had to get some organization in my life i mean it's getting it getting to the point i have corners full of crap and everything else you know and uh have everything else in my corner here and stuff like that. I have a, yeah, and I'm trying to get it set up here and uh, get a little organization because it's getting bad and you feel better when you get it out. I think my myself, I need to get it out of the house. I'd be more motivated going to a supper area and to work. And stuff like that. It, that only that one reason. It's not. I never done too bad with the bill out here. Uh, okay, the bill on costs that is a shipping container, uh, 53 foot by eight. Uh, I paid 2,200 dollars for it, and uh, the shelving costs. I got them at Menards. I caught them on sale. It was. Um, Eight hundred and some dollars for a seven seven uh, shelving thing. Cause how they, you know, how I put them, that I can make them real long. I bought six shelvings units and just spread them out. And the totes, that where I went kind of kind of a little bit more on because. Uh, I look and look, I got aggravated. I look in retail stores and everything else. And I finally look and try to look at used totes, try to find new, you know, used and stuff. And I finally just went, you look up in U line and they have, they gave me, I, I, when I bought Big Quarantine, I bought 100 of them, bought 100 totes at one time. And they gave me a little bit break on it. Uh, each toke did cost, it cost about uh, $14 each toke did. And uh, I mean, I'm happy with the toke. I don't, ain't, I'm not happy with the price. No, I mean, I could be, went cheaper and stuff, but uh, they're a little bit heavier than the ones I, at the retail stores because I, I look at them and they, Oh, that did break. I, I, when I'm broken my hands, then these here, you know, they call them different stuff, things, and, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad because these here with the beds like this, you know, it's nice and deep and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I'm happy with my setup. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a good start and stuff, and they give me, you know, give me a little bit mine, mine now of uh, being a, uh, being a, uh, getting out of the house and get a little organization in my in my house and kind of get it clean up. You know, when. It, Think about working out here at nights and stuff like that more than in the daytime. It's cooler at night and stuff, and I had things going on. And I, I, I'm I'm trying to do maybe do like ten listings a day or something like that. When I put all my merchandise back up on uh, line here, I'm I'm going to do uh, I'm going to put a, like a bin of time up. 
and stuff. I just want to list that bend at a time. Each day, list you know a few here and there, and get it back up online here. But thank you for uh, watching me and uh, and stuff. I I know it's been a long time since I had an update on my bill out here, but I've been trying. Thank you for uh, uh, taking a look at my video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.